All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the perimeter of a couple of figures. We've got a, uh, like a rectangle up here, and we've got a triangle down here, and we're going to find the perimeter. So basically, the first thing you have to know is that the perimeter is, uh, what it means is it's the distance around the figure. So if you were to take a piece of string and start here and go all the way around the rectangle, or in this case, down here, the triangle, how long would that string be? Uh, how many inches? How many feet? How many units of length? And uh, let's pretend um, this has a, a height of four units. This has a width of five units. And since it's a rectangle, the height will also be four again. And the width up here is also four. Um, so what would be the perimeter of this rectangle? Well, you're going to add all the lengths. So it's going to be 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5. Since addition is commutative, you can move the numbers around. 5 and 5 is 10, 4 and 4 is 8. So we get a perimeter of 18 units for this figure. Uh, some people get into some pretty fancy formulas with perimeter. At this point, basically all you need to know is it's the distance around the figure whether it's a rectangle or a triangle or a trapezoid, you just take all of the outside lengths and you add them together and that's going to be your perimeter. Let's take a look at this triangle. Let's say this is a, uh, the slant is a 10, this base, oh, let's call it a 12, and let's call this one 13. And let's say this height is 9. Okay, so sometimes we'll tell you the height of the triangle as well. And what is the perimeter? Well, in this case, the perimeter, remember, is the outside, the length of the piece of string, so to speak, that would go around the figure. So in this case, it would be 10 plus 12 plus 13. The 9 is completely unneeded. It's a red herring. It's a piece of information that is unnecessary for finding the perimeter. So now it's time to add 10 plus 12 plus 13 is 35, so the perimeter of this figure is 35 units. And for simple figures like this, basically the only thing you need to do to find the perimeter is add the outside lengths.